This is Love is Blind, Season 6, The Lakeside, Laura, Jeremy with an A, and Sarah Ann. This one, <laughs> this one's got me, got my blood, my blood boiling. My blood blubbling. <laughs> yeah, they're all three Asian. But, <laughs> so this is a Love is Blind relationship breakdown, right? Yeah. Uh, this is coming at you from Tatiana and James. We've been together for 10 plus years, married for over, this year will be eight. October yeah. will be eight years, so over seven. Uh, three kids. We understand what it takes to be in a long-term relationship and what the beginnings of those relationships may look like. Should look like. Should look like, right? And I think we have a pretty good perception on what uh, society's expectation is versus what an individual's expectation would be. Yeah. And when it comes down to uh, Jeremy with an A, Laura, and Sarah Ann, I'm going to tell you right now, Laura is a modern woman. Yeah. To a T. That That's right. the problem. And there's no way you can be like a traditional couple in these days, like to to a T. Yeah, this this just not gonna work. The parts that they don't talk about in a traditional relationship in like the '40s is how the woman may have felt in certain aspects, and also the difference in what men were providing la back then. Right, right. So when it comes down to a modern woman these days. Obviously, there's going to be some fluctuation mm -hmm. in the roles a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Like, you can't just be a guy that goes to work, comes home, and beats your wife because she didn't make the pot no, roast correctly. Go to work and come home and sit down and be like, well, I did my part. And then the woman just cooks and clean and she's like, well, I did my part. No. My couple nowadays require a little bit more than just those traditional, you know, like providers and then uh, a homemaker, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. It's a little bit more than that. Like, modern couples require more than that basically but like when we say modern woman so masculine like no one has even no one has mentioned how masculine she is she's thin pretty i would say at first laura was like you know my number one i was like wow she actually does look good but her masculinity just makes her not so attractive it's poisoning her yeah. and it's poisoning the perception you can sorry. have of her like, I understand Jeremy and shit, and <laughs> what he did was, like, he got caught in a lie. But the things that we don't see probably is what led him. Like, I'm not trying to justify him, like, potentially cheating. Like, that's not what I'm saying. But, like, he chose Laura for a reason, right? When they were in the pot, he felt something. But when they came out, she's the kind of girl that, you know, she's constantly taking a jab at him. Constantly. yeah perfect it's example a jockey way it's not gonna make him feel good yeah perfect example um they come out they go to his place even in the pods he talks about oh my place is immaculate like uh better homes and gardens catalog uh, level put together they get there she comes in she's like oh wow his place really does kind of wow your organization skills really do put mine to shame in the private room it's kind of serial killer vibes immediately trying to put him down you know th those things that women do like a character assassination right immediately she did gossip. that and i was just like why is she doing that like immediately it's almost as if she always wants an upper hand over him and that's just masculinity and after a while the dude is he doesn't find her attractive anymore even if she is she is yeah. and it kind of just kind of pushed him back a little bit so when he went out and probably was seeking closure with sarah ann like jamie uh, based off of what he said he she didn't even he didn't even know that she was going to be there and there, then right. when he gets there she's there oh hey now i get to see what you look like we right. can actually have a right. physical like a a non-blind conversation right right so he sees what she looks physically maybe he likes maybe he doesn't but the conversation we don't see is between him and sarah and so we don't know that physical connection how it went maybe that's what really swayed him like okay i'm willing to drive you up to your place and they both swore that nothing happened and i kind of believe that because that would be kind of crazy to just go off and like you're still in this experiment and just go go crazy with yeah because like they don't even want like a lot of the couples perfect example here a lot of the couples don't even want to say something mean right you're gonna go into just full-blown have sex with somebody else right like right. at their place right. while you're while you're alive on tv right. it's like 
I don't think he did, but like when he's trying to explain himself to Laura, she just cuts and dry and this and it's that and doesn't want to listen and doesn't want to have a civil conversation it's just like well you giving me no room like it's emasculating right yeah I f but okay hear me out maybe in this conversation we can find like okay what i need to do to redeem myself how about that how about when you let someone speak when you come to agree that okay you what can you do to redeem yourself? She's not even giving him any ground for that. You haven't even mentioned that until just now. Like, okay, yeah, I messed up. Let's talk about it because I feel bad about it. At the end of the day, a guy who's pursuing you, he's just feeling like, Ugh. It's now a job. It's a job. I don't want to do, I don't want to work this hard. Things are so easy now in the dating pool for a man to, and it's been kind of progressing this way with the modern movement of women wanting, oh, I want sexual freedom. I want to be able to go and do whatever I want. All you're doing is making the job, the man's job easier. Right. And that's why you get these guys where the standard is below the ground because they don't have to work hard or do anything special to get you. It's, or maybe it's, the price is not worth it. There you go. That's a great way to put it. The price is not worth it because a man that wants you and will pursue you no matter what, if you're the feminine, like everything that he's looking for, He's going to go to the ends of the earth. He's going to buy the moon for you. Jer Amy. <laughs> Laura and Sarah Ann, the perfect player was like the lake scene. He came in. There's tension between them two. He's trying to talk to her. She's standing. He's sitting. He's sitting. She's standing, talking down and cursing up a storm. Like, I'm oh, I don't saying. even want to, like, right, like, what you're saying, no, I don't even want to listen to that. Like, and he's like, can we at least be civil? Civil. She doesn't want to listen. She doesn't want to have a civil conversation. He's like, fine, I'm not going to get any civil conversation. Can we at least have a good time for the sake of everybody? Your engagement just ended. What the f That's what she tells him. Your you engagement just ended. What the f Why you want to have it? It's like... Well, it's etiquette it's etiquette like it's like laura in the middle of we there's other people here we cannot make their experience worse just because there's tension between you and i let's put that aside and have a civil like a good time she still no she doesn't want to listen she doesn't want she doesn't want anything Lo it's like laura your engagement just ended too and you want to go sit down with the girls and have a good time like you're 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 berating him for the exact same thing that you're doing so then he's like, well, I, I don't know what else to do. Then Sarah Ann comes in and they, they start talking and she's down for the fun and they start just skiing. Now Laura's a, she could Do I get, like Sarah Ann? Not so she much. She couldn't even get the words out because she's crying. What? Oh, wait, hold on. You skipped over the biggest thing, right? Because Sarah Ann was going around totally fine. Um, she's kind of just like weighing out the scene, da, 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 da. Here's a situation where if Laura was submissive, more feminine, yeah. and wanted to actually have the conversation there would be no air in the area or in the room quote unquote for sarah to be like hey let's talk laura and jeremy with an a had their conversation now he's kind of like fuck i don't know what to do right oh, yeah, 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 and yeah, then yeah, 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 yeah. ad yeah ad and sarah are having a conversation what? they seem cool hold on they seem cool and it's like an ad who has no business giving relationship advice is talking to Sarah Ann, almost judging, basically judging her yeah. for doing exactly what was necessary for her to get the man that she wanted. Like, I'm not saying what she did was right, but it's just like, I'm not saying what she did was wrong. <laughs> Check this out again. Laura is mad at Sarah Ann for overstepping a boundary, which very could very well could be possible, right? Overstepping a boundary. AD is like, I'm team Laura. I mean, obviously, I'm going to be on my, my girl's team. Laura, in the midst, if uh, five minutes earlier in the episode, is looking at Jimmy and Jessica, and she's like, oh, let me get out of the way, leave you two yeah, to talk. She's pushing Jess to Jimmy. Because she's team Jessica. And nobody's team Chelsea. Right, right. <laughs> Explain to me how that makes sense. You're literally crying about another woman coming over to your man fiance and then you you over here like cheering another woman to do just that it's like and then you have and you have somebody who's like prone to infidelity 
that is trying to give relationship advice to somebody who literally was like hey this is an experiment we've all known each other for like two weeks right me and him had a connection at the end he left the door open because he was unsure this is where it's like he's looking for a little bit of grace like hey i made the wrong decision in the pods or i made a decision in the pods i want to work this out with laura he talked to what's her face sarah and was like hey maybe like i needed some closure he had a strong connection with both of those people Outside of the pods, he sees how you are. He sees how she is. And now he's like really torn. Yeah, yeah. Y'all haven't spoken to each other in days. And then the first conversation is you. Da, 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 da. Right. Like, it's I don't like, want that. It's okay. You can. She, at that moment, she was still right. But she lost the right because of how. I mean, she does. She did have something to, to do with him. Like going and talking to Sarah Ann. Definitely because she's just too masculine. And just jabbing at him all the time. Constantly. Yeah you know like it gets tiring it gets tiring especially when you first met someone it's like this is the time to build up a physical connection but all you're doing is just yeah this is the time to be fun right this like is sarah time. ann she was like ad came at me i don't really feel like it's her place i feel like okay we're in this experiment you're the man i want I'm you're in competition with other women men are in competition with men women are in competition with women and sorry Laura Sarah played the better match she did she did like she saw the opportunity and swoop wide in it's a show you know it's not like yeah I put the thing the ring on the finger but it's no like no it's not even just that it's like Sarah said it perfectly she goes yeah inside the pods is the show outside the pods this is the real world oh this is what happens. I didn't catch that. Yeah, she said that in the conversation with AD. This is what this is the real world. This is what happens. Love is messy. I love this person. I'm gonna go do what I gotta do, and I'm not sorry. And she's, like, I'm not I'm sorry. sorry. I Looking know. At I was like, ooh. People keep saying Jimmy was the best line. She's like, I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm not, not sorry. sorry. I was like, girl, get your man. And guess what? Get your man. It may guess not work. What? It may not work. But like Sarah was a little bit more feminine in her way of handling the whole situation she with cried. jimmy she she was feminine with uh not jimmy with jeremy yeah, but then she, she her feelings fact. towards the other women were like oh nah i don't like this chick she's like yeah. coming at me for doing exactly what she would do in my situation i mean at the end of the day it's the show right and we're all here to compete for the person we feel fits you know right same vice versa men compete with, with men women can we uh can we just highlight uh a couple from a previous season um what the bliss and bliss. and i was gonna say that i feel like the way they did that season it was i think it was season whichever four. bliss and what was his name bliss and zach zach the way the producer did that i feel like it opens the uh the gateway for people to be like you know what maybe i did the wrong choice now let me find the other person but the way it was edited edited it zach and Irene oh disliked God. each other yeah, yeah. so it's mutual and then Bliss and Zach he's like hey I made a mistake and Bliss was open to it Bliss is Sarah Ann in this situation the only th and it's the only reason we're having such a negative reaction towards uh, Jeremy is because he was a little more confused he was a little more like you know what let's let, let's see how it goes right he was trying to be the nice person mm -hmm. and then when he got the opportunity to meet Sarah Ann again, it's like Zach and Bliss. It's like getting the opportunity to meet again. All right, let's cut it. And I, the only, literally the only difference is in defeat, Irene was like not really feeling him either. The reason I think Laura is so upset is because she was feeling Jeremy mm -hmm. so much. Yeah. And then the only, th and she's scared of that. And that's why she's putting him down and trying to highlight all these self-sabotage like AD did with Matthew. Mm -hmm. So sabotage all these points to make it seem like Jeremy's a piece of crap. Paint him as the bad guy. Yeah. And guess what, man? You want to paint me as the bad guy? I'm going to go have fun with my bad girl, Sarah. <laughs> Netflix is sitting on the board like, <laughs> mm, we got these people. They're serving the drama for real. They are serving, you know. This is the best is, season. Love is, yeah, it is. Love is blind. Um, it's season, finding its footing. Season six. I would say 10 out of 10 because 
It's like a, more like a 9.9. 9. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we all know love is not blind at this point. You know, the experiment has proven it. <laughs> love is blind season six. Honestly, yes, the drama, the serving, but like as far as love, eh, I don't really see it in any with any couples, even Johnny and uh, what, Amy. Amy, I don't think they're going to make it. Maybe they get married, but like long term, maybe they'll surprise us. Same with AD and Clay. Those are probably like the two somewhat strongest, strongest cu couple but other than that mm, but the drama oh thank you netflix very true overall, drama overall 9.9 .9. so i hope you guys like this breakdown of season six so far join us in future episodes super future videos we're not going to completely talk about love is blind all the time uh we're going to be jumping around in different topics and things like that how you, how doing, you doing wendy Wang? these were hot topics for us today yeah. so i hope you enjoyed see you guys in future videos and don't forget Share, like, and subscribe.